The National Assembly Committee on Energy, Communication and Information now wants the rollout of the thin SIM technology by Equity Bank halted until an independent audit on its use is conducted. The bank was given the go-ahead by the Communications Authority of Kenya CA to start using the technology through its licensed mobile virtual network operator Fin South Africa Limited on Monday. Addressing the media on Wednesday, Committee Chairman Jamlek Kamau asked CA to stop the process and allow an independent team of experts but to be set up to a certain if use of the thin SIM will not interfere with the consumer privacy. The studying orders allow Parliament to hire independent experts to look at these kind of things. And that's the direction we actually want to take. Since CA has already given its approval, and as you are aware, CA is an independent body. The only thing that we can do right now is to get an independent view outside CA, outside Safaricom, outside Equity, so that we can actually get to the bottom of this. The committee maintains that Parliament has an oversight role in any matter that involves Kenyans and should not be ignored by the authority, despite it being an independent body. I fail to understand how the board could have made a decision within a week, understand the whole things and everything within a week and make a decision and move on. But that not with studying anyway. The issue of them having uh, licensed this to go on while they still continue testing is what also is baffling to us. Because why couldn't they, first of all, test the entire system to make sure that it's foolproof and there are no issues of security even before proceeding on with licensing? That's the biggest question that we're asking. And I'm sure that is what Kenyan would want to know. Margaret Wahito for Capital TV.